Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the different operations that can be performed on a binary search tree. So from today's session we will start the another type of binary tree that is AVL tree. Right? So this is also a type of binary tree that means uh, It's a type of binary tree that means it satisfies the property of a binary tree that means every node should contain at most two children that means every node in this tree should have at least a zero or a one or a two chains not more than two chains right that's a property of binary tree or we can simply we can also say it as it's a variant of binary search tree binary search tree so it should obey the property of binary search tree also that means all the elements which are on the left subtree should be less than the root node and all the elements of right subtree should be less greater than the root node so it should obey the property of binary search tree also and this is a self balancing binary search tree self balancing binary search tree self balancing binary search tree which was invented by adelson welski and lindas so these three persons invented the self balancing binary tree so that that's why it was named as avl tree right so what is this self balancing what is this self balancing so self balancing means here the balancing of heights of left subtree and right subtree so balancing heights of left and right subtrees right so balancing the left and right subtrees so this is measured in terms of balancing factor balancing factor right so balancing factor so what is this balancing factor and how to calculate this balancing factor and if this tree obeys this binary search tree obeys this balancing factor then only we can call that as a avl tree right so this balancing factor is nothing but height of left subtree minus height of right subtree right so that means the difference of height of left subtree and right subtree so that is that gives the balancing factor which can be either 0 1 or minus 1 either 0 1 or minus 1 so that means we can say every node should satisfy this balancing factor that means every node must have the balancing factor as either 0 or 1 or a minus 1 right so I hope you understood this avl tree should satisfy the binary search tree property along with that binary search tree property it also satisfies this balancing factor that means every node should contain the balancing factor either 0 1 or minus 1 what is the 0 minus minus 1? How to calculate this balancing factor? That is the difference between the height of left subtree and the right subtree. Right? So first of all, height. How to calculate the height? It's the longest path from leaf to 
from leaf node to that node so from where we are finding the height so the leaf node to that node the longest path gives the height of a node so height of a subtree minus the height of a right subtree then we will see an example so don't get confused so it should satisfy the binary search tree property right it should it should satisfy the binary tree and also it should satisfy the self balancing that means balancing factor every node should have the balancing factor either 0 1 or minus 1 if any node is having uh, other than these three values either 0 1 or minus 1 that implies that is not a avl tree that that doesn't call it as a avl tree right now let us see an example and let us see how we will get a 0 1 or a minus 1 let us take an example for avl tree Let us take this example first. See, let us take this example first. So, if you consider, if you consider this example, we know that this one is the left to subtree, and this one is the right subtree. Right? Now, balancing factor. What is the balancing factor? See, balancing factor, first binary search tree, so binary search tree means all the elements which are on the left subtree are less than the root node, all the elements which are uh, on the right subtree are greater than the root node, so it satisfies the binary search tree. Then coming to this balancing factor, what is the balancing factor for 80? So that is nothing but height of left subtree minus height of right subtree so what is the height of left subtree 2 minus what is the height of right subtree 1 which is equal to 1 which is equal to 1 right so it is in either 0 1 or minus 1 so it satisfies the condition of avl tree so this is called avl tree right so if this left to sub tree is having a few more elements 30 and some 45 and again it is having 20 and a 35 now what is the result so what is the left to sub tree of this 80 so 1 2 3 4 height is 4 1 2 3 and 4 height is 4, right subtree 1, we will get 3, which is not equal to 0, 1 or minus 1. So this is not an AVL tree, not an AVL tree. So because every node should have the balancing factor either 0, 1 or minus 1, which violates this condition. Right? So that's why this is not an AVL tree. See, according to the balancing factor, so we have to calculate this balancing factor for every node, every node, right? So, if this balancing factor is a minus 1, if this balancing factor is a minus 1, this tree is called as right heavy avl tree right heavy avl tree or heavy right avl tree or heavy right avl tree right 
If it is a zero, it is called balancing avian tree. It is one, then we call it as heavy left avian tree. It is called a heavy left avian tree. Right? So this is how we can consider so which type of avian tree it is based upon the balancing factor. Right. So we are supposed to find this balancing factor for every node of a binary search tree. If it satisfies, then we can call it as a binary search. So let us take this example. See, if you find the balancing factor for this one, balancing factor for this one, height of left tree, that means 2 minus 1, which is 1. So what is 1? Heavy left or left heavy. Heavy left or left heavy. Left heavy tree. Right? So, heavy right or right heavy. Balance tree. Right? So based upon this balancing factor value, we can have whether it is a left heavy or right heavy or a balanced tree. So this is, we are getting the balancing factor only one. So we can call it as a left heavy balancing tree because the height of left is greater than the height of right. Height of left is greater than height of right. So if you avoid this one, if you consider this one, 100, 90 and 110. See, in this, the balancing factor is height of right left subtree. Height of left subtree means 1 minus height of right subtree 2, which is not equal, which is equal to minus 1. So it, it is within the given balancing factors. So if it is a minus 1, it is called as right heavy tree. Right heavy tree, because here we can observe that the height of left is less than height of right or height of right is greater than height of left so we can we will get the minus one so we can say it as a right heavy tree or heavy right tree and if you have this one see 40 60 so if you consider this one this is also satisfies the binary structure because all the elements on the left subtree are less than the root element and all the, all the elements which are greater than the uh, root element are on right subtree. So it satisfies the binary search tree property. And coming to this balance factor, see if you observe this one, so balancing factor for every node, every node, you can check for every node, right? So here the right subtree uh, height is 2 and left subtree height is 2 which is equal to 0, which is equal to 0. That means the height of left subtree is equal to a height of right subtree. So if it is zero, then we call it as a balancing tree or a balanced tree, AVL tree, balanced AVL tree. So this is how we can find whether the given tree is a binary search tree or an AVL tree. So AVL tree is also one type of binary search tree with a balancing factor. So that's why we can call it as a AVL tree can be called as self-balancing binary search tree. And operations can be performed on this one. Those are insertion and deletion. So operations are insertion and deletion. So these two are, are the operations that can be performed on these AVL trees. So while in, after inserting on or after deleting, that should not deviate this balancing factor. So that means if you insert an element into this AVL tree, that may disturb the property of AVL tree. That may disturb the balancing factor. 
right so we have to take care while inserting an element so that the balancing factor should not change that means the property of AVL, AVL tree should not violate right so that should be taken care while while uh, inserting an element or deleting an element from AVL tree right so we'll see these operations in the next session so hope you understood this one so AVL tree is also a variant of binary search tree that we call it as a self balancing binary tree binary search tree that means here we have to find the balancing factor which which is uh, nothing but the height the difference between the height of a left subtree and the right subtree so the values may be minus 1 0 or 1 so if the height of uh, height of left subtree is a greater than height of right subtree will get a value of 1 then that will call it as a left heavy tree and if if the height of right subtree is greater than height of left subtree will get a minus 1 and we will call it as a right heavy tree and if the height of right subtree and height of uh, left subtree both are equal then we will get a zero value and that is called a balancing or a balanced avl tree so this is how we can find whether the given uh, given tree is a binary search tree or an avl tree so hope you understood this property of avl tree right so we have to find this balancing factor for every node in the tree so every node in the tree should satisfy this balancing factor so that means every node in the tree should have either minus 1 0 or 1 as a balancing factor right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this introduction so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and uh, if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and keep following our channel thank you very much